Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. This video, I'm gonna show you how you can detect if you missed the sprite when you clicked. So we're actually not going to use this code that says when the sprite clicked anymore. Goodbye. We're gonna use this a little bit later, so I'll just kind of set this over here. We're actually going to create a uh, message. So this message, when we receive it, it's gonna be called check if touching when clicked. And when we receive it, what we're going to end up doing is um, a couple things. We're going to use two of these blocks, wait until, and we're going to forever do this thing. So we're forever going to wait until, wait until. Just kidding. We need to put stuff in here. So what we're going to do for the first one is wait until we're not clicking the mouse. And then for the second one, we're going to wait until we are clicking the mouse. So to do that, we just simply go to the sensing and say mouse down and mouse down question mark mouse down and then after this we're going to add in a conditional block if else so what we're going to check is if we are touching the sprite when the mouse is down cool then we're going to play a sound and say you caught me else which is like saying otherwise we're going to say if you're not touching the sprite then we're going to say oh you missed or make a sound or whatever you missed Cool. So inside of here, the condition that we're going to check is if we are actually touching the mouse. So we're going to use the touching mouse pointer and put that in here. Okay. So all this code, um, I went through it fast. Let me explain it real quick. So it, when we receive the message, check if touching when clicked, it's going to forever wait until the mouse is not down. So it's going to wait until we let go. So we let go and then wait until the mouse is down. And when the mouse is down, if we are touching the mouse pointer, then it's going to meow and say, you caught me. Otherwise, if the mouse goes down and we are not touching the mouse pointer, then it's going to say, you missed, because it'll run this else code. Now, to actually get this code to run, we're going to add this before our forever loop by calling the message. And the message is not called message one. It's called check if touching one clicked. So when I press the green flag, now it's you can see it highlighted it. So now it's running this code. So if I click, it says you caught me. Cool, because I was touching Scratch Cat. Now if I click somewhere else and I'm not touching Scratch Cat, it's going to say you missed whenever we are on there. So this code is running exactly the way I wanted to. We'll click outside of uh, the sprite. It won't. It'll say you missed. Click on the sprite. It'll say you caught me. Now, the reason why I used a message instead of using one of these uh, my blocks is because it's going to forever do this thing. And if it's forever doing something, it's never actually going to go to the next block. So if I had created a block here and it was forever doing this thing, it would click the green flag. It'd start running all this code right here, and then it would never get to the code down here um, because this code never ends. So. Add code like this to your project to make it so you can detect whether or not you are, uh, when somebody clicks, they are clicking the sprite or not. And maybe you can even add in variables like get a score if they caught the sprite or lose a score if they miss the sprite, something like that to make it more interesting. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.